The Stikine River is a wild river. No dams or levees impede its descent from the mountains of British Columbia to its mouth 400 miles away at the town of Wrangell, Alaska. Although navigable, the Stikine is truly wild. It makes the fastest descent of any navigable river on the North American continent. During its tumultuous descent, the river passes through the nearly impassable Alaskan coastal range, a jumble of high mountain peaks, glaciers, and snowfields. Throughout its length, the Stikine gains strength and size as it's fed by innumerable streams and tributaries, which are in turn fed by the snowfields and glaciers. For the adventurer, who is pure of heart and whose blood runs as cold as a mountain stream, these tributaries can provide an adventure unlike any other. Thinking myself such an adventurer, I recently set out for a trip on the Stikine. The adventure began in the small town of Wrangell, Alaska. Wrangell is an isolated town in southeast Alaska. It's visited only by air or by boat, as did the travelers of a previous century. I set out for the Stikine by boat, but the boat I traveled in was dramatically different from the stern wheelers of a century ago. The boat I traveled in was an odd looking craft, a jet boat, but it was a jet boat unlike any I had ever seen before. The jet boat had been built right here in Wrangell. It had been built with the peculiarities of the Stikine in mind. I learned that it drew six inches of water standing still and only two inches when it was planing. One of our skippers for the day was the person responsible for its construction, Todd Harding. The boat was built for an unusual tour service, a custom tour service. I asked Todd about the service he offered. I want to show people uh, the side sloughs, uh, the tributaries of the Stikine, show them something that's totally, uh, I believe, unique and different, uh, and do it in a manner that's a little unique in itself. There's more chances to see wildlife and visual uh, what Mother Nature has to offer by being in the tributaries of the Stikine. Uh, personally, I find Main Channel boring. It's just a cruise down the highway. So. Uh, Personally, I don't feel, uh, if you're not pumping mud, you're not jetting. And to get in and out of some of these places, it takes a little bit of pumping mud to get in and get out. During our trip, we got to see the backwaters of the Stikine, crystal clear water just a few feet away from the main stream, beaver ponds, close-up views of waterfalls and icebergs, and always the back channels of the Stikine, a truly spectacular trip. But Todd's tours are not for the faint of heart. Although he'll modify the tour for the comfort and interest of his passengers, Todd's heart is in the back sloughs, the glacial lakes, and the rapids of the tributaries which feed this Stikine. Join me for a ride.
That's enough. I can't take any more. As Todd said to me, Everyone has their own idea of what adventure is and what excitement is, and I'll leave that up to you. And everyone who's ever done it has come back and this was something that was really unique. This trip is truly an adventure, and Todd can be reached in Wrangell, Alaska through TNH Charters, Jet Boats Northwest.